wherever there is a wrong to be righted, he is there. Wherever humanity gropes for that universal meaning of life, he is there. He is everywhere, for he is Commander USA. Far below a teeming shopping mall, Commander USA enters his video vault to bring you action, adventure, and zany non-stop thrills in Commander USA's Groovy Movies. Today's Groovy Movie, I Married a Monster from Outer Space. And now, Commander USA. Whoa, hey, there you are. Commander USA here, soaring superhero. Legion of Decency, retired. <laughs> oh, glad you showed up today, boy. Yeah, cause I'm feeling good, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Plus, I got a classic and a half for you today, boy. Yeah, it's called I Married a Monster from Outer Space. Whoa! Stop, Mr. Tom Tryon, eh? Yeah, pretty good. Oh, you know Tom Tryon, don't you? Yeah, the famous author. Oh, sure, he wrote The Other and uh, Harvest Home Crowned Heads. Oh, all of that stuff. Hey, Roland, how you doing? How about a little tunes there? Yeah, a little mood music. Whoa, what's the matter, pal? It doesn't. Ooh, you gotta get your tubes tested, eh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that's kind of nice. Huh? Yeah, it kind of settles me down, you know? It gets me centered, boy. Hey. Tom, right after this movie, kind of decided to get out of acting and into writing, you know? And after you see it, well, you'll probably agree it was pretty good career strategy, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, because Tom has this kind of, well, I don't know, this kind of innate connection with the third realm, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, you can see it in his eyes, boy. Yeah, what? Who the heck is... Where is he? Holy kids! Where is that super silly super guy? Oh, you know Sally McBride, don't you? Sure, the famous wedding consultant. Hey, nice to see you, Sal. What brings you to the video vault? I brought you a present, you coy boy. Holy kids! It's a new copy of my brand new book, The Easy But Elegant Wedding. Wow! Hey! hey. Need to get down that bridal path in a hurry. Many of us do these days. It's a hurry-up world out there, but there's no need to turn your wedding into a hasty affair. The Easy Elegant Wedding Guide will show you how to do it all. And it's only $14.95 <laughs> yeah, to get our bookstores well, everywhere. Sally, listen, but uh, what's the occasion? You're getting married. What? I am? You're not? No. Well, I heard up in the mall that you were marrying somebody from outer space. Well, no, sir. Heck, I've been seeing a Plutonian woman, but heck, we haven't talked about you. I know. You probably heard about the groovy movie I'm showing today. It's called I Married a Monster from Outer Space. Oh, Gloria Talbot. Right, Gloria yes. Talbot and Tom Tryon. She's so adorable. Oh, wait till you see what an adorable couple they make. Yeah, why don't you have a seat here and I'll get the telepsychotronic screen sheet and radiation shield open, okay? Oh, that tubular guidance system is greased, huh? Hey, this is gonna be a good one, boy. Yeah, take a look. Whoa! Yeah, you see, Tom and Gloria, this, well, this kind of nice 1950s kind of young couple that are gonna get married, you know? Oh, yeah, you can tell they're serious because they already own a station wagon, you know? Whoa! Oh, yeah, a lot of neat cars in this one, boy. Oh, man, yeah, I always liked that 57 Plymouth with the 317, you know? Oh, yeah, made a heck of a police cruiser. Whoa! Oh, go get him there. Wow, watch out. Holy cats. Oh, yeah. You see, when it starts out, like everything's going Sorry, along kind of copacetic, you know? But then Tom starts hanging around with the wrong crowd, boy. Oh, yeah. See, he starts smoking and drinking, winds up getting totally spaced out. Holy cats. Yeah, and see, and then Gloria, well, she notices that Tom has changed. Ooh. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of my first. Oh, yeah, she was always asking me to do that. Holy cow! Oh, yeah, and all kinds of things start happening, boy. Whoa, watch out! Cover your flank there! Holy cats! Oh, man, hey, it looks pretty exciting, huh, Sally? Whoa. You know, it's too bad that Gloria didn't have a copy of my first wedding guide. Just because he says I do doesn't mean he will. Now available in paperback. Uh, yeah, that's well said. Listen, I think somebody's calling you, huh? Okay, you ready for this? Yeah, let's do it then. Tom for Tom trying Gloria Talbot and Slapsy Maxie Rosenblum. In I Married a Monster from Outer Space. Whoa! And these thank you notes that I have are over $6 a piece. Oh, yeah, it's not a bit. Well, hey, there you are, boy. 
Hey, hey, hey. Man, things are starting to heat up now, huh? Hey, but did you notice how nice as Marge's handwriting was there? Yeah, when she was writing that little note, boy, kind of precise, you know? I don't know, my handwriting always kind of slants down and then slants up, goes wandering all around the page. As a matter of fact, I once gave my handwriting to a handwriting analyst to see what it all meant, you know? He told me it would cost me 23 bucks. I said, that's all I need to know, pal. <laughs> yeah, but here's some nice handwriting, boy. Yeah, it's a letter I got from, holy cats, Yakima, Washington. Somebody named Holly Fisher. Yeah, let's take a look, see what Holly has to... Whoa, holy cats. Now, this is what I call colorful, boy. Yeah, take a look. Yeah, you see, that's all yellow and pink, and got a little picture of me in a car down there. Yeah, there's even somebody in the... Yeah, let's see what Sally has to say. Dear Commander USA... I love your groovy movies. They're really awesome. Wow. You're awesome, too. I hope we, you will keep making groovy movies. By the way, I think you should make a movie yourself. I have to go now. Goodbye. Well, thanks, Sally. You know, I did make a movie once, but heck, mostly you just saw my socks, you know? Hey, but thanks for writing, Sally. Yeah, that was a real nice letter. How would you? Hey, do you want to write to the commander? Oh, sure, it's easy, boy. All you got... All you gotta do is write to Commander USA, Post Office Box 3966, New York, New York, 10185. Sure. Commander, I don't know how to tell you this, but you have no backbone. Are we speaking philosophically here, Doctor? No, 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 this x-ray. You have no spine. Well, how can that be? What? Wait a minute, I know what this is. Oh, heck, that's just a little joke. Now, yeah, my first wife used to send this out as a Christmas card, you know? <laughs> hey, let's get back to I Married a Monster from Outer Space. Whoa! Whoa, holy cats, yeah. Yeah, my pal Lefty's pretty excited, boy. You, you know Lefty, don't you? No, sure. It's my hand puppet. <laughs> yeah, he was just telling me that he got honorable mention in the Big Betty Proctor crock off. Oh, yeah, he used his recipe for Knuckles Larongs, you know? <laughs> oh, hey, Lef, pretty excited, huh, boy? Oh, yeah, well, there's a lot more excitement coming up, boy. Yeah, we'll get back to I Married a Monster from Outer Space right after this. Sure. <laughs> See, you have everything here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, hey, uh, boy, just in time. Hey, you hungry? Yeah, those old stomach juices growling at you, boy. Well, I got just the right treat. Yeah, this is kind of like a nice treat after school. You know, you get home and you want something sweet, but you also want something calm. You know? Yeah, a little bit of meat. So what I'm gonna be doing is making a groovy man head cheese milkshake. Oh yeah, this is great, boy. Now see what you gotta do is first have a blender, you know? Then you start out with the basics. Right, we're making a milkshake. Hey, we'll start out with a little milk. Yeah, we put it right in there. Ah, this is gonna be nice, you know? Now, you know, if you're home alone, be a little careful because you always want to have permission from mom or dad or your husband or wife or, you know, whoever tells you what to do, you know? Then you grab a can of Groovy Man ice cream in a can. Oh, yeah, and spread it right in there, boy. Yeah, get a nice lump in there because, heck, you want your milkshake to be nice and thick, you know? Yeah, then you take a little of your chocolate syrup. Heck, pour it right in there. Mmm, oh, yeah, this is the slow flow kind, boy. Oh, hey, doesn't that look good? Oh, yeah. Now, this is great. Now, we start mixing her up, boy. Yep, here it comes, yeah. Now, we want to start that mix nice and slow. And let it get going. And then, as it goes, yep. Whoa. Hey, looks good already. Now, we start adding our head cheese. Mmm. Oh, this is going to be wonderful, boy. Yeah, just put a slice right in there. Yeah, ah, whoa. Yeah, that's good. Whoa, here it comes. Whoa, easy there, pal. Oh, take it easy. Yeah, mmm. Hey, what could be better, huh? Yeah, this is great. Ah, you get that mixed up nice and tight. Whoa. Oh, Got to put a little sugar in there, too. Yeah, you want to make it sweet, you know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, smells good, yeah? Think she's ready. Oh, boy, you pour that out. And you'll have a treat you won't forget. Take a look at that, huh? Mmm. Hey. Groovy man head cheese milkshake. Hey, that's got to do something to your salivary glands, that Pilgrim? Here's looking at you, kid. Ah. Whoa, holy cow.
Marge, boy. Yeah, Marge better be careful. I mean, she's gonna catch a pretty nasty cold running around with her coat open like that, you know what I mean? Uh, heck, kinda reminds me when I was just a young commander, you know? Oh, yeah, like this one day I had like this really bad cold, you know? But I insisted on going to school anyway, because I heard that Mary Beth Hirschfeld was gonna give a... a Geography report, you know? Oh, yeah, it was uh, principal products of the Philippines or something, you know? So I wanted to go, and heck, I was just sitting there in class, you know, and all of a sudden this sneeze kind of snuck up on me, you know, and boom! Blew me and my desk right into the cloakroom, boy. Yeah, look, missed the whole last part of my sack. Report. <laughs> yeah, let's get back to I Married a Monster from Outer Space. Right after this, sure. Oh, okay, let's get back to. <laughs> Could be you came to the right place, sister. Yeah, you look like you need some yourself. I need help! I need help! Help! Oh, heck, I guess none of us would mind getting a little of that, eh? <laughs> okay, let's get back to I Married a Monster from Outer Space. Ooh! Oh, hey! Did you notice that nice banister that Marge and Bill had there? Oh, yeah, that was pretty neat, boy. Yeah, I bet if they have kids, they'll have a good time sliding down that one, eh? Yeah, of course, they'll probably be mutants. <laughs> well, you know, Commander, it's too bad Gloria didn't see my other book, Raising Children for Fun and Profit. <laughs> yeah, thanks, so Sally. Nice. Yeah, listen, we'll get back to I Married a Monster from Outer Space right after this. <laughs> Does the defendant have anything to say? Your Honor, I appeal to you. Not in the least. Six days or sixty dollars. Pay my secretary. Well, here there you are. Okay, let's get back to I Married a Monster from Outer Space. I object. Oh, no, you shouldn't. This is Tom Tryon's big scene coming up. It's gonna show us the sentimental side. Come on, boy. Here, fella. Come on. Whoa. Holy cats, yeah, looks like Bill really put his foot in it that time, eh? <laughs> okay, let's get back to I Married a Monster from Outer Space. Yeah, right after this, sure. Whoa. Come on. Okay, you ready? Yeah, this next part of the movie's gonna be neat, boy. Yeah, cause everybody goes on a picnic. Ooh. Yeah, you like that, huh? <laughs> Good attitude. Okay, let's get back to I Married a Monster from Outer Space. Whoa. Oh, come on, breathe, Harry, breathe. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll get back to I Married a Monster from Outer Space right after this, okay? Yeah, okay. No, come on, breathe. Now nah, you just got the wind knocked out of you. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> hey, there you are, boy. Oh, yeah, just in time. Now I'm trying out a new recipe, boy. Nice. Nah, from my old friend, Demetrius Trichinosis. Yeah, he owns a little diner out on Highway 61, you know? Yeah, he calls it Jimmy's Place. Yeah, it's great, boy. This is one of his favorite recipes. It's a big hit over at the diner, too. It's called Pork Tartar. Oh, yeah, it's wonderful, too. See, what you do, see, is first you start grinding your meat. Oh, of course, it's always the first step. Now, you take that nice ground pork, see? Just clean it off there, and then you start working it. Now, that's the important thing, boy. But the meat gets it all kind of congealed together, you know, gives it a nice kind of shape. The wonderful thing about this, see, is if you're having like a special holiday or something, you can make it into like any shape you want, you know? Yeah, well, say like for Valentine's Day, you know, you can make it into a little heart, or heck, St. Patrick's Day, you can make it into a shamrock, you know, or how about for Dolly Parton's birthday? Oh, sure, we could make it into like, you know, a, a guitar or something, you know? Yeah, sure, that'd be a whole lot of fun, see? Then you get it in the shape you want, you know? And you make a little depression right in the middle. Because that's for the piece of resistance, boy. That's right. You take a raw egg and plop her right in there. Oh, man. Does that look delicious or what, huh? Kind of does something to your salivary glands, doesn't it? Yeah, pork tartare. A treat for any day of the week. Sure. Whoa, man, that was a pretty cute sweater that Marge was wearing there, wasn't it? Yeah, that little V-neck is... Hey, what the heck is going on back there, Sally? Whoa! I don't know what happened. I went into the powder room and the door must have got stuck. I was in there for quite a while. Oh, no, I hope you're all right. 
I managed to keep busy. Whoa. Did you know you had a little drip? Well, occasionally, doesn't everybody? I put in a new washer. No problem. Holy kiss. Gee, I didn't know you could do stuff like that, Sal. Anybody can, Commander. Especially if they pick up a new copy of the Sally McBride Homemaking Guide. <laughs> it's only $14.95. Hey, that's great. Listen, Sal, I've been having a little As problem with mold on my grouting. You think you could take a look at it? Close yeah, up, yeah, I just take really a quick like look. I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll get back to I Married a Monster from Outer Space right after this. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you ready? Let's get back to I Married a Monster from Outer Space. Whoa! Uh oh! Whoa, monsters on the loose! Boy, holy guess. Yeah, just see the way Tom Tryon just kind of ripped that door right off its hinges, boy? Yeah, that was... Whoa, hey, Sally, what the heck is going on? Whoa. Just needs a little planing, Commander. Holy guess. It's not as difficult as it looks, especially if you pick up Sally McBride's guide to come in carpentry. <laughs> yeah, Only hey, Sally, why don't we words. just nail it shut for a while, huh? Yeah, we'll get back to I Married a Monster from Outer Space right after this. Sure. <laughs> Okay, get ready, boy. Yeah, time for the exciting conclusion of I Married a Monster from Outer Space. Whoa! Whoa. New diet and concept, huh? <laughs> ah, gee, what, what? Hey, that was some disgusting ending there, wasn't it, boy? Oh, no, I don't mean Marge and Bill getting back together. No, I'm talking about, like, how the Chief's hand just kind of melted there, you know? And then Bill just kind of... Uh, kind of like digested oatmeal, you know what I mean? <laughs> oatmeal stains are no problem. As a matter of fact, I cover oatmeal stains in my other book, Sally McBride's House Cleaning Guide. Look it up under Chapter 4, which is titled, Have a Good Time, But Keep It Clean. Yeah, always a great idea, Sally. Supermarket hey, checkout Yeah, I'll be looking for it, okay? Yeah, okay, thank you. Yeah, I'll be looking for you, too. Yeah, next week, right here in the video vault. Because I'm going to be showing one of our favorites, boy. Yeah, Ship of Zombies. Woo! -hoo. Yeah, it's 1 o'clock, Eastern and Pacific, 12 o'clock Central. Till then, keep your nose in the wind, your tail to yourself. See ya, Pilgrim. <laughs> ah, gee, ooh. Tonight at 8 on your Saturday Nightmares, Daryl Hannah and Rachel Ward face the final terror. The Nightmares continue at 10 with an all-new episode of Alfred Hitchcock Presents, followed at 10.30 by the Ray Bradbury Theater. Just ahead, Murder, She Wrote's Angela Lansbury and the bewitching Elvira on Hollywood Insider, next on USA. USA Cable's Entertainment Network.